a very good afternoon to each and every one of you now welcome to my show these are what you call a check mature here i usually talk about politics and chess because uh, chess is the only metaphor that can explain to you how your own government run how your, how your own politician run your government and just like in government we normally have social structures chess we also have social structures and in government we, ha we have president just like in chess we have a king and in king in, in, in chess king has got an infinite value the moment this piece is captured the game has to end in that place and we have a queen a queen is somebody that is next to the president or somebody that is close or deputized. Like for instance, Rigadi Gashagwa is our queen in Kenya, Kenya, Kenya Kwanza government. And the third pieces that we have are the bishops. They normally stay closer to the president and the queen. That's why they're considered king and queen's messengers and in government just like in our own government these pieces can represent somebody like oscar sudi and again just to add on to this one bishop can represent the clergy and the church in government too then we have the knights which are the law enforcement in government that is police and finally, we have rocks that is the back row, and this represents special forces that is army. On the front row, we have pawns. These are the most useless pieces on the chessboard. And in real government or political arena, this can represent people with less stature or it can represent ideas so for long so long for, for for you to initiate for you to make any movement politically you have to initiate these pieces into action so it's a person it can become a person of less stature or it can represent an idea so just like chess in politics normally there is a victim and there are people that control these uh that 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 control this dualism like there are people behind these pieces the same way there are people behind william ruto running running the government in the same way william Ruto was feeling that uh, there are some people behind the protest going on so we will come back to chessboard later so let's 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 let us discuss this just few hours ago um the law society of kenya president that is faith of the ambo declines the presidential appointment to join the debt task force that was formed the less the, the lsk president uh deems the task force as uh, unconstitutional because uh he's feeling that uh it's only attorney general that is i mean the, the auditor general that uh should be uh, given this task to audit the public debts. Okay, let's check on what the Constitution says. Chapter 12 of our Constitution that is under the Public Finance Act says that uh, within six months after the end of each financial year, the Auditor General shall audit and report in respect of the financial year the following one that is a the account of all national and county government b the account of all funds and authorities of the national and county governments the third one the auditor general should give a report on accounts of all courts the fourth one the auditor general should give account 
of every commission and independent office established by this constitution. The fifth one is the account of the National Assembly, the Senate and the County Assembly. And the last that the Auditor General should give on is um, the accounts of all political parties funded by the public funds. The appointment of this task force should not have happened in the first place. Why am I telling you this? Because this task force offends the constitutional mandate of the office of the Auditor General. This shows you how this government is continuously um, uh, disregarding and disrespecting uh, the constitution. Because explain to me like a kid why there is a public debt management office and the national treasury. And uh, this department, I mean, I, I, I mean uh, the, 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 the public management uh, office has got three departments that are supposed to uh, undertake the following uh, responsibilities. Resource mobilization, debt policy and strategy, and risk management. Tell me why we should form a new task force to partake these duties. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, leave a comment, a like, at the same time, you can press the notification bell so that uh, any moment that I upload a video, you can get notified. Why do you think the government decided to co-opt LSK president in a matter that the constitution clearly outlines how it should be handled? This is my notion. The strategy is to get everyone and all strong institutions involved in this mess. And it's kind of foxish tactic to go for the head first so that by the time the board is realizing that uh, the head is not there, it will be too late. I usually tell you that Ruto is a, uh, is a political student of Moi. Ruto is a political student of Raila. Ruto is a political student of Uhuru. Ruto worked in the government of Moi. Don't expect this guy to go down that easily. Don't expect him. The guy is using a surrender tactic. And uh, he is doing it in a, in a, in a, in a way that uh, he has decided that he will lose all the pieces that he has. And just like in chess, you play until your king gets checkmated. Ruto feels that we haven't checkmated him, but we are closer this way. And uh, he doesn't mind losing pieces or losing people for this. And that's why uh, he's talking about this cabinet reshuffling is coming up. So long as his power is still going to remain, he's ready to do anything. And that is the real root of that we know. This one that is telling you to come out with, with task force, if Kwanya audit, who is in there to do that job? He, auditor general, anafanya kazigan. These are just tactics tactics, the surrender tactics. Robert Greene talks about these surrender tactics in his book of 48 Laws of Power. And uh, it talks of to transform your weakness into power. And uh, that is exactly what William Ruto is doing. When you are weaker, surrender rather than fighting uh, for the sake of your honor. This gives you time to build strength and uh, undermine your victor while you wait for his power to weaken. That is what 
William Ruto is waiting for. Buying time is us. So that uh, the moment, he, he has given it time so that at least we can forget. And he resumes his normals. The Ruto that we know. So, it's the end game that matters. The game is not yet over. It is the end game until we checkmate this guy. We are not going to win against him. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. And uh, that's my take on decline of LSK president for the task uh, auditors for that uh, the, the, the task for that uh, was a uh, was appointed. Have a good time and bye bye.